background, we have a storm headed our direction as we come to you from Owensboro, Kentucky. And now our Situation Army, we have reweighted the sled. The competition will start all over again. Yeah, on this sport, you go back to square one. Now, this is good and this is bad. It's good because the guys have a chance to set their vehicles. But if you've already run, it's bad because everything's hot now. Well, these folks are very patient, but if we stay here very long, they could get drenched because we have a storm system headed our direction. But right now, the competition will resume, actually start all over again. Gary Varner now, the first to pull. Gold Thunder, the 604 cube against Chevrolet. He's out of Midway, Kentucky, built his own engines, and would like to step up and be able to run with these guys. I want you to notice the clay that's coming off the tires now. There's a lot of moisture already in the air. That's making the track real heavy, Gary. And these guys are going to have to tune for it. You notice also the heat coming out behind the front tire. A lot of heat in the engine. We might see some breakage before this night's over. 280.31. Gary, I tell you what, everybody sees the lighting in the background there bumping up that sled quick tonight. Well, the next to pull is Robert Gallahan. That's the Gallahan Special, a 1990 Ford F-350. 600 cubic inch Ford engine built by Lee Edwards, producing 1,200 horsepower. I like this paint job, the metal flake, beautiful candy apple red. And he has to take it out of here this evening. It looks like he has some trouble right there. He may have broken the rear axle. He only had front wheel drive, 286.27. And Army, you have an update for us. Hey, Gary, we got a unique situation there in Owensboro, Kentucky, at the Davis County Fairgrounds. Normally, the 300-foot mark is the end of the track. That is not the case tonight. A big storm is behind us. The weather's coming this way. These guys have come from all over the country. The Lions Club members got together with the TNT Motorsport people and said, hey, Pull it as far as you can. That's the guy that's going to win tonight. And these guys are literally loaded for bear in Kentucky. Well, that'll certainly put a strain on these power plants, and we can see some breakage as we witness the lightning in the background. And coming up next is Dwayne Bakey. That's the STP pulling team, the 1988 Chevy S10. Another Jerry Janky built 1,400 horsepower engine. This is Dwayne's first year in the pulling circuit. He's trying to get that all-important time in the seat. He's got the horsepower. He's got the chassis. Let's see if he's got the hot hand in the bluegrass state. He works the middle. Look at the mud coming up, Gary. The moisture's really settling in the track. Let's look at the 300-foot mark. He goes past it. That would be a full pull normally, but tonight, 304.73, so he has to take it as far as he possibly can. That will give Dwayne the lead here in Owensboro, Kentucky. Let's watch again. 304.73. I want you to realize on a 300-foot track, that's the way you set your gearing. And it's like a drag car. You set it for a maximum at the 300-foot mark. He went 304. In order to win it, you got to really lean on your motor tonight in Owensboro. Coming up next, the 1988 champion Howard Lewis in high roller. Now, keep in mind, he had a full pull earlier that was nullified when they added the weight to the sled. So this is very taxing for this power plant to make this second run. Well, the reason it's so taxing is because of the heat factor. Not only in the engine, but in the clutch assembly. A lot of heat there. He's got to have a lot of ground speed. He does. He's got the ground Look speed. I think he's going into the Look lead. at that. 309 feet, 309.13, and that puts him on top of the standings, but no real change of expression in the cockpit. Lewis is an old pro. He knows if he can do it, somebody else can too. 309. Oh, look who's coming out now. Here's One the guy the that can boys. do it. Yeah. Donnie Sanders, the Tennessean. Another Jerry Janky built engine. Donnie, though, built his own chassis in 1989 Chevy. Three red holes at the top of the engine are the holes of the injector. When they turn black, you're into horsepower. They were black a foot off the start line. He works the left side of the track. Finally go on the other side of a 309. Gary Lee, does he no, do it? No. He won't do it this evening. Tonight, only 281.82. So once again, because of weather conditions, because of the pending storm we have moving in, they pull as far as they possibly can. If that means out of the county, it may take that to win this evening. We're talking about these drivers coming from all over the country. This young man came 13 miles. Terry Turner out of Lewisport, Kentucky. And everybody in the grandstand that went to Davis County High School is pulling for this kid. He's local. Well, this certainly is a local racing program. Yeah, Gary, his engine program came out of the automotive machine and performance people in Owensboro, Kentucky. They'll be happy with anything over 250 feet. Yeah, they're going to be happy, Gary. And he 
stops the sled at 275.25, or should I say the sled stops him at 275. And from the youngest to the eldest, Charlie Lowe, the killer two out of West Palm Beach, Florida. He is the retiree, uh, we'll just say he's 60 plus years of age, in the 1994 Ranger. Keep an eye on Charlie. Listen to the engine. He does not hesitate. He leaves the line on full boogaloo. Let's see what's going to happen. The moisture's coming into the track. You can't see it, but I can feel the moisture around us, and the track seems to be going away. Well, of course, he would need to pull it past what normally would be a full pull, 297.90, normally a good run, but with the present conditions, not so this evening. He has to go over 309, and I think we have some uh, rain right now as we see some of the fans seeking shelter. Yeah, we're starting to pick up some sprinkles, and immediately notice all the activity starting around the sled. All the drivers are trying to get there as quick as they can. Well, there is Jim Lyons in stitches, the 89 GMC and Engler chassis with an engine that he built himself, 604 cubic inches at 700 horsepower. Yeah, Lyons has his own research and development program for his sponsors, and he runs them on a lean edge all the time. He rolls about two feet out and full throttle. 309 to lead distance. He goes to the other side of three, but not going to bump the 09, Gary. No, to 301, that would normally be a full pull with conditions tonight, though not good enough for Jim Lyons at 301 even. This is Stitches, the 1989 GMC as we look again. Gary, on a replay, you can see where the problems developed right on the starting line, about 20 feet out. He was smooth sailing, but the first 20 feet were the kiss of death. The track might be getting a little bit slippery up there, Gary. Well, Manuel Moreno, our next puller, is at the line, but walk over and see what information you can get from Jim Lyons. Jim, you and the Stitches crew have one thing in common. You always go on full kill. You're showing no mercy at all. You were going for the throat tonight on this one, weren't you? Well, we was, but we don't have a big enough motor to run these boys, so we're going to have to adjust our engine size and get up there with them. That's the only thing that's wrong. The motors are too small. We're 100 cubic inches down from all the rest of the guys. A lot of question marks now pertaining to the weather and a very heavy racetrack as we take a look at the Yellow Rose of Texas, Manuel Marino and his 1990 GMC. You know, he's a past national champion in the sport. He's out of Skeen, Texas, from the construction company. Keeps the truck on tour and flies to and from the events chasing the national championship. Marino working towards the left. He will come Whoa. up very, very short. That left side of the track, Gary Lee, I think has gone the way of the Buffalo. It's not the place to be tonight. Well, less than 280 feet for his pull. That will do it for him. And look at the folks starting to head for cover as the rain starts to come down a little harder here. As we take a look at the standings now, the high roller of Howard Lewis leading at 309.13, then Dwayne Bakey and the SDP pulling team, and Jim Lyons third in stitches. We'll come back and fight with Mother Nature in Owensboro, Kentucky.